to the end and I just do you know one solid push and that's it. Okay? So this is the brush, like I said. Here is the splash guard, easy to install, easy to take it off. Now you will need also gooseneck. Gooseneck is connecting the, the telescopic poles with your brush. Okay? And uh, because you are ordering the telescopic poles, you need a special telescopic uh, gooseneck. Okay. Normally for the uh, for the modular poles we have an intake right here. However, the, uh, the hose will be actually running through the telescopic poles. Thus, you have to have you know connection right here, right, with okay. your with, with your with your hose. Okay. So the gooseneck goes like that. Again, we have a hexagons. Put it like that. And matter of fact, you have a, you have a, you have a, a arrows right here, which will show you which direction the brush is spinning. So let's say you will be cleaning your carports. You will you'll do it from the basket, and that's the way to go. You need you need you need to go this way, and you need to go against you know the gravity to clean the the panels and to push the dirt down. Okay. Let's say you will have another guy standing on on the another side of the carport, mm -hmm. and who will who will do the, the second half because that's how we are working. If the carport is too big, let's say you have a twelve panels landscape, we do the, the first six, seven, eight, and then we finish from the bottom. Okay. Okay. So it's good, safe, especially when it's a high wind. The wind might be picking up your brush. Mm. Okay, when you move, when you try to do the whole 12. Okay. It's kind of difficult to do it, you know. But it's okay, you know, to, you can do it, but uh, it's safer to do it, you know. You divide it, like I said, either 6 and 6, 7 and 5, 8 and 4. Okay? okay. And be very careful when you, when you will be working on the, at the end of the, the, the installation. The brush has tendency to follow the gravity, and if the installation is not perfect, you know, it might go either to the left or to the right, so you have to watch your, your brush at the end. Okay. okay. The water is being distributed, you know, from here to here. So the brush will be perfectly cleaning like that. When we are cleaning the panels, we usually do the edge like three, four times. Then we do the panel again. Then we move, you know, our brush, you know, half of the width of the solar panel, and then we hit it again. So basically, we call it like overlapping. You know, when you when you have a solar module, we go like three times. Then we go middle and full panel, middle and the full panel. Okay. Okay. So depends on the level of the soiling. Right now, after the winter, it, you might go a little bit faster. But the more dirt you have on the panels, the slower you have to go. So allow the, the bristles to remove all the dirt and dust from your panels. Okay. okay? Just you, you'll see whether you are leaving the streets or not. You know. So, but uh, basically, the brush will perfectly remove everything what is standing in the way. Okay. okay? But uh, you have to kind of follow that uh, that path when you go. You know, half full, half empty. Okay? okay. So that's that. So when you will be installing the gooseneck, we have a different material right here, some kind of alloy, here is a brass. So uh, that thing might eat the thread if you don't pay attention. So basically put a hexagon exactly like that and then, you know, go go with that knob, that's 22 millimeter, go like that, push it a little bit in and again go all the way to the end and push. Okay, okay? take a fast slide. Exactly, a little okay. bit, you know, kind of kind of help, you know, the thread, you know, to go in. Because inside we have uh, two sets of the washers, so, and they perfectly seal the the connection between the gooseneck and the, and the jet. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? I'll yeah. show you. See those two sets of the, the O-rings? Oh, yeah. You know, so you have to kind of overcome the, the resistance of those rubber O-rings, you know, to go perfectly in. Okay. Okay, now, once you will once you will install that thing, put a put a telescopic pole and the brush and the gooseneck down on the ground, and start the work you know to, on the on the connection. So the, for connection we are using a piece a six inch uh, uh, connector. So what do you have to do? You have to run this hose, which is special hose. We call it final hose for the telescopic poles. You have to run it through the poles. Okay. And uh, you will do it. You start right here. Okay. You put a you put a hose right here. Okay. The hose will obviously pop up right here, and uh, then you will just connect your hose with with a with a six inch connecting part. And once this is this is once this is connected, you put it back where it belongs to, and then you can connect you know your gooseneck and the uh, telescopic poles. It, it works just fine, you know, don't worry about it, so you, you will be able to easily connect. And here we have a hexagon again, okay. we have a hexagon again, and that hexagon will help you to keep the brush in the perfect position. You don't want to have it like that or like that, you want to have it perfectly on the panels. So the system of the two hexagons 
you know, keeps the, the, the brush perfectly on the bench. Okay, perfect. Okay? 